Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to dive into a head-to-head -head comparison of Frostpunk 2 and the original Frostpunk, breaking down what's new, what's better, and what's stayed the same. Whether you're a longtime fan of the first game or just hearing about the sequel, this video will help you understand how Frostpunk 2 stacks up against its predecessor. Let's get started. First off, let's talk about the core gameplay. The foundation of Frostpunk city building and survival in a frozen wasteland is still very much present in the sequel. You're still tasked with managing a city, keeping your citizens alive, and making incredibly tough decisions that will test your morality. But in Frostpunk 2, the developers have introduced some new mechanics that take the strategy element even deeper. In the original, coal was the main resource you needed to keep your city warm. In the sequel, oil becomes the key resource, adding a new layer of complexity. Oil isn't just about heat, your decisions around extraction and use of oil can have political, environmental, and social consequences. Speaking of social dynamics, Frostpunk 2 builds on the faction system introduced in the original. In the first game, you had to manage the general welfare of your city, but in the sequel, you'll have to deal with multiple factions, each with their own demands and agendas. This introduces more depth in decision-making, as you'll need to navigate these groups, and their often conflicting goals to keep your society from collapsing. It's not just about keeping everyone alive anymore, it's about keeping them from turning on each other. Morality and decision-making are also cranked up in Frostpunk 2. In the original game, players had to make tough choices like enacting child labor or sacrificing a few citizens to save the rest. Those dilemmas are still here, but they're more nuanced in the sequel. Your choices don't just affect your city in the short term, they have long-lasting impacts on your society, the environment, and even future generations. You'll feel the weight of every decision in a way that's more intense than before. Now, let's move on to graphics and atmosphere. Both games have that signature bleak, frozen wasteland aesthetic, but Frostpunk 2 takes the visuals to a new level. The environments are more detailed, the city feels more alive despite the harsh conditions, and the overall atmosphere is even more immersive. The use of lighting and weather effects adds to the game's tension, making you feel the cold and desperation of your city's inhabitants in a more visceral way than in the original. Another area where Frostpunk 2 has improved is replayability. While the original game offered different scenarios and endings, Frostpunk 2 is designed to be even more dynamic with multiple branching paths based on the choices you make. This means no two playthroughs will be exactly the same and the added depth of the story and factions ensures that there's always something new to discover. So what stayed the same? The heart of Frostpunk is still here, the struggle for survival in an unforgiving world. The game still forces you to make impossible decisions and every choice matters. The tension, the moral dilemmas, the constant balancing act of keeping your city alive, all of that is just as present in Frostpunk 2 as it was in the original. So is Frostpunk 2 better than the original? In many ways, yes. It builds on everything that made the first game great, while adding new layers of complexity and challenge. The addition of oil, factions, and more nuanced decision-making makes for a deeper, more engaging experience. If you loved the original, you're going to be blown away by what the sequel has to offer. That's it for today's video. If you're as excited for Frostpunk 2 as I am, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.